Good morning, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas. It's time to make a treat. This past summer, since I've been doing Weight Watchers, in order to teach myself healthy eating habits and portion control, in case people are wondering, because people have said, why are you doing Weight Watchers? Weight Watchers isn't a diet. It's a lifestyle, people. It's a forever thing, let me just say. Wish I was sponsored by Weight Watchers. I'm not. It's just a free commercial. WW's fabulous, and so are you. Anyway, since I've been on Weight Watchers this past summer, I've been making this treat that I've been indulging in constantly, which is taking your fat-free, sugar-free pudding mix and mixing it with non-fat Greek yogurt. Mmm, yum. And it works very, very well. Ooh, dog. No jumpy jump dog. Jumpy dog jumped on me. I know, because I haven't trained her, because I suck at that. Yes, I know the image is flipped. Gel O brand, sugar-free, fat-free. As I said, the flavors that I think work best with the tartness of the plain fat-free Greek yogurt would be your cheesecake flavor and your lemon flavor, which you can also mix, and they're quite nice. So it makes this delightful pudding but better than pudding, firmer than pudding. I really think it tastes like cheesecake to me. It really does. I'm sure there are a lot of cheesecake aficionados out there who would try it and say, that is not what the finest cheesecake tastes like. Cheesecake pudding mix mixed with yogurt. But to me, it does. And you just sprinkle a little bit of graham cracker crumbage on top to give you a faux crust and you glob on some strawberries or some mango. If you have frozen mango chunks, yes. Thaw them, but not all the way. I mean, they're just over the line to thaw it. Almost frozen, not still icy, but, but really almost. Ooh, yes. Have those chunks of mango and then glob your lemon or cheesecake flavored yogurt mixture oh, on top dollop of cool whip light oh yes and it makes four servings you know two it's usually two cups of milk to a package of pudding right so i do two cups of yogurt but sometimes more to stretch it i'm a stretcher when it comes to these things and a quarter of this box so four servings is one point on the weight watchers plan but anyway Try all that. That's, I mean, that which I've just described. Totally amazing. And you'll thank me. It's my lemonade. I try to drink three of these a day. Three large. I think that's 24 ounces. I think I actually measured it. Anyway, what we're doing today, something I have been dying to do forever. And I needed the cheesecake flavor pudding. But lately, all we've had is the lemon. All we've had and all we've bought because the store was out of the cheesecake flavor. Frugal Daddy's new phone, upon which I'm filming, just stopped filming for a second because the SD card is already full. He walked in and said it can't be. I said, it is. I'm not making it up. He's going to the bathroom, but he said he wouldn't flush because he knew that would interrupt the vid. We're so professional. So we've only been getting the lemon flavor lately, which is fine because it's totally delicious, but I didn't feel like it would work for what we're doing today, which I've never made before. So we're experimenting together. But I sense, you know, sometimes you just know it's going to be good. Anyway, I needed a cheesecake. Anyway, I needed a cheesecake flavored pudding mix to do today's treat. We didn't have any. And I was tidying up in the pantry and I found this on the floor. It had fallen onto the floor. Yeah. So I got super excited. <laughs> like so. And I decided, yep, today's the day. So what we're trying to simulate here is a no-bake, simple, easy, pumpkin cheesecake type sitch -uation. I didn't invent pumpkin cheesecake. That's a thing. That exists. People besides me like it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our 0% fat Greek yogurt and we're going to scoop approximately two cups with our dumpster spatula. It's just come out of the dishwasher. Approximately two cups. Usually I do measure it, but today I'm just going to, I don't feel like washing the measuring cup. I've been in the 
I was just going to say I've been in the bathroom. I've been in the bathroom all morning with my IBS. I'm going to actually start. I'm going to. This is between you and me, Dumpstrinas. I'm going to tell my family that I've been diagnosed with IBS. So when I just need to get away and have some me time, I can just go to the bathroom and sit with my phone and, you know, play games and do stuff and, and just say, like, my IBS is acting up. I need to spend some time alone in the bathroom. No, I wasn't in the bathroom all morning. I was in the kitchen all morning doing dishes and cleaning and finding the pudding mix. And I just don't feel like washing the cup, measuring things. Because it's, it's, it's not going to matter that much. Because, like I said, sometimes I go over with the yogurt to stretch things out. Now, I don't have the sense that I'm going to need a full can of pumpkin. I sense that I, being me, and since I overdo things, that I would normally put in the whole can and then find it's a little too, you know, vegetable-ish. So as, so, as, so as not to screw this up on its maiden voyage, this new recipe of ours, which probably people have done. It's probably all over the Internet. I don't know. In my head, I made it up. Maybe about half the can of pumpkin with the yogurt and the cheesecake pudding mix with cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice and extra generic Walmart version of Splenda in case the sweetness of the pudding mix isn't sweet enough to conquer both yogurt and the unsweetened pumpkin. Did you tell them about how you invented Rocky Road ice cream? Not only have I invented no-bake, healthy, good-for-you, one-point Weight Watchers pumpkin cheesecake, I also, I didn't invent Rocky Road ice cream, I invented Oreo ice cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oreo ice cream, I invented that. Way before you ever saw stores that did mix-ins of ice cream. Way before, I mean like decades before that. Way before... The Oreo people ever thought of putting Oreos in ice cream before Briars, before you could buy it in any grocery store or any gourmet ice cream shop. I, that's right. Before I was frugal mommy, I was ice cream loving Amy. Yes. Oh, yes. As a child, I was crushing up the Oreos and mixing them into the ice cream. I also invented peanut butter swirl ice cream, by the way. And today, together, we invent this. So we're going to have the cinnamon, the pumpkin pie spice, extra Splenda, if needed. So this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. Uh, let's get a mixing. Okay, here we go with our professional setup. We will start by dolloping. A generous quantity of the fat-free Greek yogurt. I guess you could do it with not Greek yogurt, but I think you benefit from the thickness of the Greek yogurt because you want this to, to be pretty solid in the end, like cheesecake solid. Oh, I got it on my hand. Then we will open our dumpster pumpkin not pumpkin pie filling which has sugar and spices already added no just canned pumpkin just the puree of the fruit of the pumpkin plant nicely cooked and pureed for our viewing enjoyment this is the whisk i'm going to use to stir everything i'm going to use it to scoop the pumpkin out because i don't want to get yogurt into the canned pumpkin if I'm not going to use the whole can. But then again, maybe I will use the whole can, even though with everything I said, I just feel like, is that going to be enough? How much have I used? Maybe two-thirds of the can? Two-thirds of the can! That sounds like a dandy compromise. I don't know why I'm doing that. Next, the sugar-free, fat-free, Jell-O brand cheesecake flavored pudding mix. Which I don't think, honestly, I would enjoy just as normal pudding made with skim milk. But mixed with the tart yogurt. Oh, my goodness. Who doesn't love a tart? Pudding, 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 pudding. Not going to lie. True confession time. Sometimes I put in some of this. Clear Lax Powder. This is the Walmart brand, much cheaper, of Miralax. Unflavored, grit-free powder. And it's true. The powder just dissolves in 
to help with the lifelong uh, constipation issue. And I don't add this to foods that other people are going to eat. I just add it to something if I know I'm the only one who's going to eat it. Um, I'm not going to put it into this at the moment. But yes, I do add my cheap version of Miralax into a variety of things. Actually, my coffee sometimes. I mean, it dissolves quite nicely if you need this type of assistance. Yes. I've also been known to add psyllium fiber, but I'm not going to do that either. I'm going to keep it pure. Stir it, stir it, stir it. It's so very pretty. Oh, it's fall, it's fall. After we mix it all together, we pop it in the fridge for a little while. Not very long. I mean, not long as needed. You can leave it in as long as you want. Just so it firms up a bit. There we go. Now, let's add some pumpkin pie spice. Where's the open side? Oh, here we go. Mm. Of course, I'm not measuring it. I'm still just sprinkling, but I'm sprinkling carefully. So I'm putting that much in. Cinnamon, ginger, not making allspice. Mm. And because I'm a very cinnamony kind of tart, oops, we want the sprinkle side. We will add extra cinnamon. Another bargain from Walmart. They own your life. All right, mix all this in. Poofing around a bit. Oh, get in, get in, get in. Oh yes, it looks like fall. I know the lighting in here isn't particularly great. In fact, I think I'm casting a shadow. It's already starting to firm up because of the gluteniousness of the um, pudding mix. No, I mean, there's no actual gluten. I'm just, that's just a word, gluteniousness. All right, I think this is gonna be so fab. Where, now I have to taste this, of course, to see if I, oops, need to add more Splenda. Taste the blob off the counter. All right, I gotta say that is pretty tasty. I do think it needs uh, Splenda. We'll sprinkle in some Splenda. Add in a splash of the fake vanilla. Glug, 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 glug. I don't like to use real vanilla extract well, because it's expensive, but for things like this, because I feel like that weird alcohol flavor is still very strong, you know, it's different if you're going to bake the concoction to which you've added your real vanilla extract, but when it's something like this or a smoothie that doesn't get cooked, I like the fake extract much better. Now you could put this concoction into a graham cracker pie crust, if you wanted to. Uh, Weight Watchers wise, you know, you have to add your points and all that. But if you just put a teaspoon of graham cracker crumbs sprinkled on top, then that doesn't add any points at all. This is so smooth and, oh, I keep hitting the tripod with my elbow. This is so smooth and creamy, the texture is just, Delightful. So remember, we're hoping it's going to taste like pumpkin, a cheese, a cake. And then we'll put it in the fridge to firm up a little bit more. Okay, some time has passed. There's our final product. Now we're going to plate it up in this bowl, which, hey, hear me now. Does anybody recognize this false graph pattern from one of your favorite TV shows? That's right. On This Is Us, back in their, I think, 1980s era flashbacks, this is the China they have. That's how cool we are. Okay. Pumpkin cheesecake. We're sort of scooping out 
a generous serving, about a quarter of what's going on here. I'm thinking this, if you have kids who actually liked it, it's a pretty healthy dessert, really. When you think about all the yogurt you are having and pumpkin, which is very good for you. Now, Weight Watcher types for some toppings. Mm -hmm. Raw buckwheat groats. These are one of my favorite things. We sprinkle a teaspoon on. They basically don't taste like anything. They're good for you and they add crunch. I like crunch. There's our teaspoon of graham cracker crumbs. Mm. Then we have the Keto Granola Cinnamon Crunch from the Granola Bakery. This is the most amazing and delicious food ever. Let me just say, I love this stuff. It's all nuts, seeds, and coconut. There's no oats in it because it's for the keto types of people. I just love this stuff. No, I'm not getting any kickbacks from anybody. Anyway, I love this stuff. So a teaspoon of it is not very much, uh, but it adds zero points and it makes it more frugal because you really ration yourself. You ration yourself, sweeties. Okay, so each of those for the Weight Watcher types. Those were zero point additions. And I believe you can have two teaspoons of Cool Whip Light for zero points. So I will say that a rounded spoon, I don't know, is that two teaspoons? I feel like that's too much. Maybe that's more like a tablespoon, which would be a point, but make it two teaspoons. And there you go. Let's try it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, baby. I like it. And in terms of pumpkin spice things, you know, that seem to be the hallmark of autumn, this, I think, actually tastes good. But maybe it's just me. I don't know. If you like pumpkin cheesecake, I, I'd recommend trying it. And also, 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 I've been making these pans of scalloped apples frequently and it's just oh my gosh this is so delicious and i feel that i could add a bunch of this a scalloped apple concoction which is just apples and cinnamon and a little splendor uh it, I, I i could add this to the pumpkin cheesecake concoction and you know you bulk it up with fruits and vegetables bulk it up baby yeah so i'm gonna do that right now there we go we bulked it up with the apples so let me try it all combined i know what a crazy turn this voyage has taken mm, i like it would you Normally combine scalloped apples with your pumpkin cheesecake? Would, I, would you? I don't know. If you think that you would, then you'd probably like this addition. I wouldn't have thought to do that with a real pumpkin cheesecake. But Weight Watchers just brings out the creativity in you. So, I think this is good. I think this is healthy. I think it is. You can have your own opinion, but... For me, this is healthy. Anyway, there you go. Thumbs up for this recipe. I hope you try it. I hope if you try it, you like it. One point.
I'm the Weight Watchers. Thanks for watching.